hate anxiety. Stop it, Mom! Management sucks! Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie. And a while ago, I made an offer to the internet to give anyone a scream into the void. Meaning, I let hundreds of people write down their bad, sad, or bothersome thoughts and mail them to me. And I promised to go to the Grand Canyon to scream these thoughts into the abyss for them. So this is the story of my journey to the Grand Canyon to make good on that promise and audibly get rid of all those bad thoughts for those people. Is it cool? Yeah, it's really cool. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never been in one of these before. Look at that! Obviously those thoughts on their deathbed deserve to be transported in style. Here we go! To the void! Woohoo! Highway! Are we there yet? I freaking wish. There we go, now we're living. How's it going up there, RV Dad? I am an RV Dad! I want to be in the back, doing nothing! I'm not doing nothing, I'm working hard on my YouTube channel. <laughs> you make your own backup sound. This thing is huge! I'm about to take out the... Pump. It says biodiesel. That's the only option. We want diesel. So how is getting gas so hard? Okay, we're good. It's fine. I don't know what that was. Okay, did not have diesel at that place, so yeah, we're still what? gasless. Apparently there's more than one diesel. Two pumps. I like the look of that. Right. Pump her up. And now it's 55 mile per hour nap time. Do you hear that squealing? It is that cabinet. You are the culprit. I can certainly get it to shut up, but I can't stand here the entire trip. So we're just gonna have that. Instead of napping, I may need to turn that into music. Stay tuned. What happened? It went away. Did you learn how to drive? Found the sweet spot. I really sound like an RV dad right now. <laughs> ah! Gotta hit the right sweet spot. Turn that, turn that squeak yeah. off. Well, it's dark now because Braxton took over driving for a leg. More like four legs. <laughs> Will you open the door for me? Hold on, I'm getting his laughing face. He thinks my pun is funny. And there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Ah, I got into Arizona before you. Shut up. <laughs> we have reached the point where we are driving later than everyone else. We're here. We found our people. We were not supplied with a bottle opener, so I had to use the old pen trick. <laughs> now there's some cork in with the wine. It's fine. Cheers to voiding <laughs> thoughts. What's going on? The furnace doesn't work. It's just shivering in the 18 degree weather. This is not good. She's texting the owner of the RV that we rented it from. I am concerned. Please use the space heater first. Um, sir, it is below freezing. What did he say? Oh, she's not happy. Okay, I'll fill you in. He didn't refill the propane before we picked it up, even though that was a part of the rental. So we're gonna be cold. Looks like Grand Canyon liquid blanket. You think we're gonna freeze to death? You're jovial now, but you asked me and you meant it. I feel like I'm on the Titanic in the water. You're sinking? No, it's that cold. Oh. <laughs> Good morning. Did we survive the chili? Oh my god, barely. <laughs> my light flash before my eyes while I was sleeping. Well, she did steal my blanket for this guy. Excuse me, sir. Aww. Were you warm? You are cheating. You have fur. Got my bag loaded with thoughts. Missing just one more. Me? Don't you want to avoid anything and everything bad in your brain? Yes. Is everyone going to know what mine is? Well, it depends on if you check this thing, giving me consent to share your thought anonymously. Just let it all out. I will get rid of it for you. By the way, I also plan to burn that after having voided your thought. Braxton, what are your thoughts? Do you want me to put your thought in here? Ah, uh, if you do. You do. <laughs> okay. Package these up for safe people. Let's make it official. You avoid guarantee. Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure you do it or I'm asking for my money back. Ready to go? Yes. I got a giant freaking megaphone for this. To the rim! The anxiety-ridden public needs me. Ooh. Look at this. Oh my hole. Look at that void. Yeah, holy crap. Okay, if there's anywhere to get rid of bad things, it's in there. I made the right choice. We're getting as close to the abyss as possible. That is a very far down. Hey, Pally, jumping in here quickly because I want to talk about how I burned 2,490 calories that day. I am putting in work disposing of your thoughts. A total of four and a half hours, seven miles, and I know this because I am always wearing my aura ring. What? A ring knows that? Yes. Here's what makes this ring so cool. It's got sensors in it to tell you your daytime heart rate, your workout heart rate, your heart rate variability, your blood oxygen level, your temperature, and monitor your sleep with a new, more accurate sleep staging algorithm. Now I'm saying it's improved because this is the Aura Generation 3, which they just released, and it's got a lot of cool new features. And I did a full review on my fitness channel if you wanna see me really mess around with this way more in depth. Basically, I love this because it lets me track 24 seven without strapping something on my chest or sleeping with an uncomfortable wristband so it feels better and it looks cool. I mean, anytime I see someone with an aura, I'm like, 
Sup? You optimized? Tell me about your sleep! How awesome that this thing is helping me unlock data about myself to improve my health. Aura gives you three scores, activity, readiness, and sleep. And that's helpful because sometimes it says, hey, you're not doing so hot because yesterday you trekked all around the Grand Canyon and then slept like crap on an RV pullout. So I know I should chill instead of pushing harder and making things worse so I can stay optimized and keep making outrageous art for you. And it's also cool that Aura is supporting this specific video. If you want to get optimized for yourself, I'll put a link in the description to get one. They gave me my own landing page. Go check that out. And you've seen me wear this in all of my videos, so obviously it comes highly recommended. And now I'm going to get back to being shouty. So exciting. The first one. <clears throat> wow. Is it inappropriate? No, it's deep. I thought this would be a comedic video. Okay. <clears throat> At 37 years old, I pretty much hate my life and I don't know what to do. As a typically quiet person, you don't have to megaphone this. Oops. It's echoing everywhere. It's not done. But you do you. Make it outrageous if you want to. Gee, let's just echo that away for him. Well, I hope he sees this and feels a little better, at least today, with this one video. This next one does not have my consent to share anonymously, so cut. <laughs> Voided secretly. Three more anonymous ones. Wow, I guess people are very secretive with the things they want to get rid of from their brain. <laughs> Stop it, mom! <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah, how could I not? It's like the thought screamed back at me. Man, this is a gamble every time I open them. Also, there are people definitely watching. It's fine. This one I'm sharing anonymously. They can listen. My parents are fine with me not wanting kids. Please stop asking them if or when they'll be grandparents. Smiley face. Mr. Baxter, what are you doing? Let's be careful. You don't want to avoid you. <laughs> he wants to shout his. He's getting impatient. Okay, okay. Come Speak. on. Speak. Speak. Scream into the void. Speak. <laughs> okay, that's good enough. <laughs> don't worry. I'll translate. We got you, boy. Fetches for stupid dogs. Do you feel better? The burden is lifted. You're welcome. You're so lucky I exist. That part of the void was getting pretty filled up with burden, so we're going to spread it out. How could my favorite Chinese restaurant close due to the pandemic, but that shithole Emmett survived? <laughs> I'm just doing my duty, people. I'm my own worst enemy. Every decision I've ever made was wrong. It's time to turn over a new leaf, then burn all of the old ones in the dumpster fire that is my life. This is your sign, Pally. This right now is your new leaf. You got this. You are awesome. I love my job, but management sucks. I don't think I'm very good with words. I can never remember which are the verbs. I often make a choice to silence my words and my voice. It's nobody's business what I'm about. But sometimes the words just need to come out. Oh, Pally sent me a sticker. How cool. Hello, Grand Canyon. I am too lazy to yell at you myself. So I paid this outrageous woman to yell at you for me. You keep on canyoning and stay grand. Wow, I love my pallies. Excuse me, do you want to be in the video? Oh, okay, thank you. Okay. Well, that lady just asked me, excuse me, what were you saying earlier? Did I miss an important announcement? Why do men always remind me that I'm a woman working in a male-dominated field? Like, it makes me look weak or dumb. I belong here too! Dear Mr. COVID, you are a f***ing asshole. I don't like you. Please leave us alone. Sincerely, Mr. J from Sweden. This is a good one. I may be screaming it for myself too. I wish I was better at accepting what content is rather than always looking for more. This one's less than anonymous because he talks about himself in the third person. If you join one of Hitata's tournaments, then be there on time ready to play. A little bit of shade to someone specific, perhaps? I'm a nutrition coach, and I absolutely hate cooking slash making food. Perfect that your shadow is in this one. <laughs> yeah. I wonder who wrote that. <laughs> Thanks. I am sick and tired of psoriasis. Is there anyone in the void? How are you? Do you need help? Oh, come on. My name is Ali Spagnola, and I fully believe everything that I am yelling. Really? Callie's punking me. I need a vacation! I wish I wasn't allergic to dogs! Bathroom break. All this voiding has us needing to void. Ooh, great timing for this one. I hate that I must count to pee! Shy bladder. That's awkward. It's not, it's gone. We got rid of it. No longer awkward. The US healthcare system is dumb and expensive. Also, Han shot first. That was a twofer. You're welcome, Pally. That was 
50% off because you got double. Love this one. Subscribe to Ali Spagnola. Also, I'm a furry. I hate most humans and cats are better than dogs. Also, I'm envy. This one says use an alternative if you can't say like screw or something, smiley face. But there are no kids around, so we're doing it. Comcast! I'll make sure I'm looking dead at the camera for this one. I hate anxiety! Woo! That, that is all of the thoughts that were sent in. Although, would really appreciate getting to do this myself. Will you scream mine? Yeah. yeah. No peeking. Mm -hmm. She's taking her sweet time. She's writing a paragraph. Why are you writing a paragraph? I have a lot to get out of my brain. I have to say this! Come on, I did like hundreds! I need you to do this for me. Get rid of it. It's been weighing on me. Up until now, I was really anxious about making sure I come through on this absurd promise for everyone, even though it's absurd. <gasps> Whew! Oh, you did it. We did it. This was stupid. <laughs> hey, that's an extra thought. Now, I didn't do this at a national park for obvious hazard reasons, but I did promise a burn disposal of the thoughts after they've been voided. Just keeping this here in case. Oh my. Well, I feel relieved. All right. And I'm so glad you all joined me for this burden lifting experience. And if you like that, you'll probably like seeing the song that I made using the RV that we drove as an instrument. I'll put that down there for you. Okay, I think we got it. Hey, Best Pally, I'm Allie, and I'm at the Grand Canyon with an RV shooting a different video when this happens. Do you hear that squealing? Hmm. And I need to turn that into music. Stay tuned. So I recorded that sound, and now it's time to make an...